NES Classic in stock when they couldn't even keep the NES Classic in stock. They came out with a product that was insanely popular and they couldn't keep it in stock for Christmas. And now I it's coming out again. The like six fucking of these things came in <laughs> for fucking Newfoundland for all of January and they were bought up immediately. You have to pay $150. Yeah, that's Hey everybody, welcome back to Pixel Junkies. This is the Pixel Junkies podcast. Oh, oh my hey. god. I'm one of your we hosts, Rory DC. We do test on this mic, and it barely registers audio from Adam during the test, and immediately he blows it out. <laughs> Absolutely. Immediately. Peakage. Absolutely. Also, I haven't sat in the middle over here in a long time. So. Also, uh, you appear to be taking a lot of flack, Rory. Doesn't matter, it cuts to a cinematic here anyways. Oh man, speaking of flack, I uh, this dude couldn't pull his own shoe. We're playing Just Cause 2. Okay. No, he's dead. We, I need to get his uh, no his PDA. I'm not. I'm not Just leading cause. into this. <laughs> Did you get it from him? No, I got it from okay. the I Yahtzee. Think, yeah, that's oh, okay. what it was. Nobody plays dead anymore. Yahtzee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I played that like two weeks ago. Really? Do you think if you like, I saw a web comic where the joke was like. You got gum. <laughs> so a webcomic where there was a bunch of people playing Yahtzee and there was one German guy and they said Yahtzee and the German guy started freaking out I was like no we're sorry oh, we man. didn't mean it never forgive Someone never forget lamp all worn apart. what does Yahtzee mean like no because no, it sounds like Nazi, Nazi. oh Yahtzee. I see it's, I, it's yeah. Aaron what they call that is a clever play on words which is a clever writing. Well, it's trick. not really a play on words because you're just saying another play. word. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we got a lot to talk about this week. Do we? Like if you said, uh, "Hazard, you're a weary." That's a play on words. Oh damn it! Is it? You're a hazard weary. I don't think it is. I think you're that a hazard mean weary. You're an idiot. No, that's play on words. That's wordplay. That's what they call wordplay, accented Oops. with. A distant siren that's sure to get louder as it passes the house. Yeah, there's been a couple of those that have passed by. I wonder what, what's going on. Oh, man, he got... Uh, Is he still alive? Some sort of nervous system damage. Just fetal. <laughs> Alright, well, he's dead now. Fetal alcohol syndrome. Oh, no, he's you've, definitely you've, dead. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, hang, on, hang on, let's let this guy pass. You gotta really move out of this neighborhood. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Probably turn, it's turning into Detroit really fast. Yeah, it does next week. We'll start getting some gunfire. During the week, we actually got gunfire. Oh, do we? Yeah, there was, well, it was firecrackers or something going off. That's not gunfire. <laughs> it sounded like gunfire. Oh. I remember that. See, the, the, the difference between gunfire and, like, an explos explosion or explosive, like a firecracker or something, is that it doesn't echo enough. Oh. You know what I mean? Everything yeah. grapple just falls. Like a, firecrack <laughs> like a firecracker is like, like, tsh, but a gun a gunshot is like, tsh, like you can hear the oh, right, yeah. the projectile going into the distance. Oh, I forgot to get the guard's weapon. We were, uh, pro oh. tip, pro tip, people in Miami or wherever gunfire is a common thing. You probably already know anyway. Me and the uh, shot at all me and time. my friend were hiking last week, uh, and uh, near the place we were hiking is a very old another one military base, and uh, they have like it's no longer a functioning military base. This was used as a military base like back in like the eighteen hundreds. And uh, anyway, they have like a show that goes on should during I, the summer. Should I program. check like CBC or something? <laughs> Make yeah. sure there isn't something. <laughs> Get out! There's a wildfire. Oh man! I, I look outside, my car is on fire or something. Oh man! North Korea finally grew the balls to shoot a missile at somebody. And uh, anyway, they, as we were walking, Turns out it was hiking next to this this old base, they were doing a demonstration for the public, and they fucking shot the, all the cannons off at the same time. Oh, so yeah. we were walking, and all of a sudden you're. <laughs> <laughs> we're like Jesus Christ <laughs> yeah I, I saw a video of that uh, the other day of like the, the dude shooting the thing like, yeah Jesus Is it, you, you don't see the guy with the gun at first in the video you just see a bunch of people like up on the that area of the signal hill or whatever yeah next to the cannon and then it's like well then you should get in the then you're like I feel like that turret is your over. <laughs> that echoes yeah why oh, this is the helicopter I'm supposed to kill. Okay. What? There's one you're supposed to, like, uh, get on, and there's one you're supposed to kill. So, uh, what's in the news this week? New iPhone. Oh, New man. iPhone came out. Three of them. Did Check it? it out. Check it out, everybody. iPhone it? 8. 
You can't even tell, viewer. It's exactly the same as the last two. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's glass on both sides now. Is it? The iPhone 4 was glass on the back. Yeah, that was the last one that had glass oh. on both sides. Sweet. Yeah. They're double C they, they went four and four again. Are you beat them yeah, to that's twice the, the phone. Twice, yeah. Anyway, uh, nobody really cares about the iPhone 8, so I don't even know why they bothered. But yeah, this is well, the 10th year, the 10th anniversary of the iPhone. Ooh. So they came out with the iPhone X. So get fucked, iPhone yeah. 9. Who, who bought the uh, um, who bought the 8 as well, I suppose. Yeah, probably. Is it supposed to be better? Is the, it like the, a, the X? Yeah. Well, the iPhone X actually, like this phone, you can see everybody knows what an iPhone looks like. The the whole fo the whole front of it is a, is a screen. There's no. Oh, button. so it's like it's like a. Does, yeah. yeah, I guess yeah. It goes all the way down to here. There's no button on the bottom, and then there's a screen all the way to the top, and it, there's a little cutout for the earpiece or whatever. If I cared about, oh yeah, I got a cold. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. I'm, and I'm sick again. Annual sickness. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm down with it. I think it looks stupid mm -hmm. because. And I know this is like this is the thing. This is I like look up a picture. this is the syndrome for. If, if I'll throw you, a picture up in the podcast as well, I guess. It, and if you see the essential phone, which came out like a month or two ago, essential phone, essential phone. Oh, it is basically the exact same thing. Oh, is it? Yes. And it was made uh, by a guy who used to work at Google and designed like the first Android. Phones. Well, I'm gonna assume I'm gonna give Apple the benefit of the doubt in that. Oh, they all that, work on it. That does. That, that, yeah. yeah. Um, but that that sort of the thing is. Uh, it's either they didn't change enough, and everybody goes, that's stupid, they didn't change anything, it looks stupid. Why the hell would I buy the same phone again? Or, they change it, and that does, this goes for everything in, in like modern media, not necessarily just phones. Or, they go the other route and change it, and everyone's like, man, they changed it, it looks stupid. Why would they change it? I'm not buying that, the other phone looks better. And, you know, that's, that, that's through, uh, through uh, pretty much well, uh, the entire history of the iPhone. Uh, but in this case, I think it looks stupid because the whole front of it is a screen except for the top bit, which is cut out. And it it makes it seem like a bit of an oversight. Like, I feel like they should have put maybe the earpiece, like, I don't know, on the side or Didn't on the top or something. Or something? Well, they got rid of the, the, the headphone, headphone jack. jack. Oh. But, like, the, you know, the, the, you the speaker. Listen yeah, to phone calls. Yeah. They should have put that somewhere else. Or I see what you find mean. a way to like put it inside the screen, you know what I mean? Like yeah. have a screen go around it. Uh, what I thought would have been cool, and where I thought they were going when they took out the button on the front, I was like, mm. this should be a phone that is 100% waterproof, no ports whatsoever, because Apple loves getting rid of things. Yeah, make it like a chiclet. It's pretty, yeah. This and, is a pretty and... bad phone, i got to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Thomas. Hi. Uh, knows maybe that, Sandy. Maybe Sandy. No. Maybe the dude who watched our, our podcast you? about Destiny. Hello, person. <laughs> uh, Can we call this this episode Destiny Sucks? As guy who got a sub and we didn't on our own video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. um, Destiny still sucks. <laughs> episode Destiny. 130. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah... I don't know, alright, trailer. Oh, yeah. Adam looked up, uh, uh, I guess, some sort of link to see the new iPhone. iPhone, you know, the X. And then that linked into some sort of Reddit thing. And because the only that thing Adam looks at at Reddit is Titty Drop, that's sort of where he wound up there. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but it, it's, uh, I don't know. That was a nice one, too. It has, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was pretty solid. I didn't see any, you know, scourge underneath or anything. No, nice. So, natural. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but the thing the thing about the phone is, oh, I forgot what I was talking about. It unlocks with your face now. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> that, that beer's kicking Thomas in really was, uh, fast. I was paying attention. No, I was just uh, getting the the titty image. It's hard to get it out. Off my it's retinas. okay. It's okay. Get back Strong. on track. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it, clean it off so I can see the top of the list. More like saved for later. Save for yeah. Like to, like that the uh, gif, but yeah, it uses facial recognition, which has also stirred up uh, some controversy, because one of the one of the tweets that I saw was like, oh well, if I can just hold your phone up to your face while you're sleeping, and it'll unlock your phone. It's like, you yeah, that, you can also steal true. all your shit. That, that is true. Sleeping. However, like the last four phones had the thumbprint thing, 
You could just you could hold your thumb yeah. up to the phone and unlock Yeah, what criminal mastermind shit. could figure out? Or oh, maybe Because God, God knows it's never been thought of to cut off somebody's thumb before. Or, like, steal their password and unlock all their shit. Which is, yeah. Like, or if you regardless have, of anything, just do yeah. that. You're going to be able to steal someone's shit regardless. If you want to. Yeah, if you're really destined to, to, to do that. I don't know. Stupid. Speaking of Destin's worry, you want to talk about Destiny. Oh, man. Yeah, so I wanted to say this, just because I don't <laughs> want to say anything in particular about Destiny 2 as such, but I did see the um, like the trailer for Destiny 2, and they got the voice of Nathan Fillion and all of that, yeah. and a whole, bunch of, the, a whole Fillion, bunch of the whole bunch of comments were, they got to make a movie out of this. Out of what? <laughs> out of fucking what? There's Actually, nothing. There's a bunch of characters sitting around with guns. I could write that movie right now. It'd take two seconds. Uh, the Disney, make a movie the, out the of Disney this. The Disney trailer is terrible, but Disney does have a lot of lore. You could actually probably make a really decent movie. You probably could, but not just based on the trailer. No. Oh, look how awesome this trailer is. They gotta make this movie. That's the same shit that gives Michael Bay work every year. That attitude. I hey, hate. Hey, 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 Rory. He's he's not that. He's, he's lazier. They that. keep doing this. They keep do- every time there's like a live he's action trailer. If there's a live action trailer that's made with any sort of production effort. budget, Mexican. or every fan made short looking. film <laughs> that has a budget of more than fucking two dollars, everybody jumps on it and like they gotta make this into a full length movie. Stop well, I mean, it. Stop in their, it. In their defense, Rory, I mean I hate Destiny as much as you apparently, uh, but in their defense, I think it's you know people that are fans of stuff they see something in like. I don't know, fully rendered CG video, well produced, actually cinematic see, short or whatever it is. Yeah, and they're like, I want to show this or I want to movie this or something that they can watch. Like, I agree, Destiny on the face of it doesn't really have a whole lot of story going on. It's like there's this ball and there's people that don't like the ball, so they shot at it. And now you got to defend it for some reason. That's the whole story. Oh, that that's even like the lesser of my objections. I just think it's because of every time there's like a trailer, people jump on it. Like, people have no appreciation for what it takes to make a movie, I don't think. And, like, you need to get a writer and a cinematographer in. Yeah. And, you know, you don't just ne- get, put still, Nathan Fillion in the thing and then it's all of a sudden they amazing. They still wrote the trailer, though. I mean, they had somebody had to figure that out. Also, uh, why is it every trailer has to use that song from Star Trek now? Oh, my... Wow. Okay, I'm going to ignore the fact that you called it the song from Star Trek and move Beasley on to the, my other Who's objection it? about Destiny 2, which is that, like, you remember... Okay, so... We'll use Star Trek. I so first of all, I'm I'm a fan of the Beastie Boys. I have been since I was a kid. They're excellent. Dude, and that's it, specifically missing. <laughs> it kind of it kind of bugs me how Beasley many boy fans triggered. How many people are using that song now? Because like in Star Trek, it was actually like fairly tasteful in the 2009. Know your version. planet. My name is Janet. But, I don't know the words. Now they're shoving it up everything's ass, and it's driving me insane. Like just. Just stop, please. Yeah. Like it's they it somehow feels gimmicky. found a way to justify that song in that movie. I still I still think it was stupid. I, I like to me. I know Star Trek is is like you know human, like the future of humanity. It's not like it's not like a fantasy or whatever. But it, it that's still like equivalent for me of them having a Beastie Boys song show up in Star Wars, like just out of nowhere. Like, like this is fucking stupid. To me, it's oh, and how atrocious was the musical thing in uh, Star Trek Beyond? I oh when, I, when when they used that Beastie Boys to beat the bad guy. I I, I hated that huh? because it turned what was a pretty good scene from the first movie into a fucking gimmick, and yeah. I hate shit like that. I had the same problem with the second Is Star that Trek how they movie. Stuff in the first one, I don't remember. Did the you first not like one the second all. Star Trek movie, Roy? Yeah, but the, in particular, I didn't like how they had the scene where. Kirk is, you know, flying through space towards the other ship. I'm like, this is just a shittier version of that scene from the first movie where they're flying alongside the planet killer, which is a good fucking scene. It is a good scene. The, uh, Star killer Rory? Jesus. If you do something more than once, it becomes dumb oftentimes. Like, nope. stuff Star that was... Wars did blowing up a big sphere thing three times. Still cool. You know what? Yes, but it didn't... Four times, because it was a big sphere thing in episode two as and well. And it was gimmicky in none of them. It always yeah. felt, like, authentic. Yeah. I thought. It wasn't... When they were like, concentrate your fire on the nearest starship. And they're like, all, all artillery to quadrant 2814. And they're like, boom, boom, boom. and then the thing fell down and they got real dusty. Was for that in space? No, that was in the Battle of Geonosis when yeah. they were taken off. They yeah. were like, yeah, yeah, we yeah. must get the starships back into space. Yeah, that, that doesn't count, though. <laughs> I mean, for that matter, they blew up a, a, a space station with a sphere in the middle of it in episode one. Yeah, there you go. Perfect so, kill combo. In fact, the only oh, one man. that doesn't have a big sphere... Episode 7 copied episode 1. New theory. <laughs> Take that. 
Oh, uh, yeah, J.J. Abrams. Do we have him on this list? He's directing Star Trek Nine. Oh, um, oh, is, is he? Yeah. Yeah. And I think I, know, I, I think Star I know, Trek Nine. I think I know who the uh, identity of Lord Snoke is. What about all the, the other six, Rory? The. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. Okay, go ahead, Adam, because I'll deal with whatever Aaron's saying in a minute. <laughs> um, so I think the leader, you know, the the leader of the New Order, this Lord Snoke, I think he's actually the dude who announces the pod race in Episode One. You know, the guy who's like, "Oompa da, oompa da, ah!" Aren't there two of them? Isn't he a double-headed guy? Yeah. And he goes, hey, 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 hey. "Yeah." And here's the thing: yeah. he loses the other one. That's what caused him to go to the dark side. Rory. That's a good theory. I think you say the scar. And then he got that badass pair of pajamas that he got yeah. in the figure. The, uh, <laughs> and the and the guy in, in, in when he was doing the, the gold member he, cosplay, yeah, and and then he's uh, when he's doing the uh, when he's doing the announcement. Oh, he's there's a the helicopter. Cameras. I don't have the audio for this. If anyone's watching this, like, turn why is he going to the helicopter? Turn on subtitles. Um, or is more of a dog I've, guy. I've not felt <laughs> so lost so quickly in a long time. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we have a running gag uh, where oh, we, you got an achievement, we keep making fun of Star uh, Star Wars and uh, different fan fears behind it. So, so far, Ray's father is the Rancor guy. Yep. Yeah. And, <laughs> Agreed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Lord Snoke is the blah. And also, and, uh, every time because they got the new figure that came out that showed like Snoke's ship and every time it's brought up I have to bring out that it also showed Snoke's pajamas <laughs> the uh right <laughs> so it's called a bathrobe Rory anyways they got J.J. Abrams TV. oh Kim Jong-un on this <laughs> it's J.J. Abrams is directing episode 9 because they got rid of their previous director um why so why like to be honest wait 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 hold on wait what are the St- Star Trek movies there's the 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 J.J. Abrams was one. Then there's In the Darkness. Then there's Beyond. Beyond. Uh, did I Where? say Star Trek? Yes. Oh my god. Star Wars episode Star nine. Star Wars oh. nine. Oh. Oh. I am so sorry. <laughs> I, I, should... I was like, how is there nine? No, okay. Uh, I'm a lunatic. Sorry. Oh, Star Wars episode calendar. nine. J.J. Abrams is directing. They got rid of his previous director. To answer Adam's question as to why. So uh, My question is, why was he directing in the first place? Well, he, he wasn't because Colin Trevorrow was going to direct. No, that's what I mean. Why? Why was Colin yeah. Trevorrow directing that movie? I don't know. Did he have a Disney contract? Well, he was announced when they announced seven, eight, and nine. He was announced as the director yeah. for nine, which is like it, I, like, yeah, I don't know. Like I think that. there were probably more obvious choices. What yeah, else has he done? Uh, he did that. What's that movie? Does, does anyone know? It's the quir- it's quirky and uh, 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 safety not guaranteed. Colin. Oh, Trevorrow. yeah. I wouldn't have picked him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So to answer your question, why is he gone? I don't know. Why was he there? He wrote Jurassic World. Wrote it. Oh, that's true. That's the other thing he did. Jurassic World. That was a good movie. He also Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I mean, is this the next one? one? He's writing them. He's writing them. Yeah. But like, oh, I, I mean, those. I Jurassic mean, Park let's let's face it. The Jurassic World movie Look, man, was a good movie so that different. wasn't. It didn't have an incredible script, like a groundbreaking screenplay. No, but it, it <laughs> like it tried to pay homage to the original type material, True. right? Which I think. If that's the case, he would have probably been a better candidate to assist J.J. Abrams Look. on the first one. Well, uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Right? Yeah, that's a, rather than the conclusion of <laughs> the, uh, the trilogy. Very much expecting like. What does he look like? Some sort of picture of Bryce Dallas Howard oh. in filming Jurassic World. No, okay. just Teddy dropping it. Um, so anyway, there were some uh, creative differences between him and Kathleen Kennedy. And uh, Kathleen Kennedy has much more staying power Apparently than he Jeff does. Goldblum's going to be in the next one. Star, Tre- Star Trek? Star Wars? Probably Jurassic, Jurassic World. Jurassic, okay. Jurassic World. <laughs> Ian Malcolm, you know, remember? <laughs> I am... Look, look. When, when I watched Jurassic World, I was like, where's my gold blue? Where is he? Yeah, yeah I think I thought I heard a while ago that they were trying to get him on board for the second one, so I guess obviously they did that. Um, but anyway, I don't know. I, I don't think he was too hard to work with or whatever. He, he, he was... Um, he did some... Uh, Back and forth with uh, Ryan Johnson, who's directing ep- or directed episode eight, because that's that's wrapped now. Uh, but, One would hope. Uh, it's yeah, wrapped. it's coming out in the couple. Well, months. I mean, it's probably like you know, very very final stages. Like I doubt they're doing any sort of reshooting at this point. It's probably just like color correction. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. Um, you think they're doing a scene, just hammering it in the film? Like, oh, it did really well last time. Let's have Darth Vader come in and slaughter a bunch of rebels. Like that doesn't fit into the plot at all. He's dead. It's like, yeah, we'll just make it work. But it doesn't make any sense. Make it work! 
Well, I mean, that's what they did last time. You know, like, what was it, two weeks before... Two weeks before they had to ship everything out? They yeah. were still They were still filming that scene. Yeah. So... Uh, Which is the best scene of the movie, so... Yeah, it definitely completes that movie. Yeah. Um, but I think it was primarily, like, you know, he, he actually got Ryan Johnson to go back and film some continuations of scenes for episode 9, because... Casino. They, they were already... Blow up that whole building, Roy. They were all, uh... You know, like, you have the actors in, in, on set for, like, you know... You're filming a movie, you don't always just... You don't film it in order, because that doesn't make any sense. Sometimes you have different, like, scenes later in the film that go back to earlier mm -hmm. uh, locations. So you film all those scenes in that location, and then you move on, and then that's a cluster. And I guess there were some potential scenes in Episode Nine that took place... In the same areas as yeah, like episode they eight, they filmed the beginning and the end of the ho of the Lord of the Rings films at yeah. the same time because they all took place in Hobbiton. Yeah, and uh, you know that, that makes sense. So I guess there were maybe some flashback scenes or just some continuations or something some like that. Close by return. Yeah. So um, I don't. I, again, I don't know how much. Jesus. I don't know how much of that is going to stay yeah, because originally. Um, Carrie Fisher had a, a really large role in Whoop. Episode Nine, and I don't know what like the ethical way of continuing that story is now, because like the, you know you have the options. You could see Gear, which obviously is going to cause controversy because it has with Tarkin, and even just even when Carrie Fisher was alive and they put her in the end of Rogue One, everyone was like, That's, "You can't do that! Oh my god!" Why? Like, I I don't know. Again, I don't know. Like Carrie Fisher was like all about it. She's like, "Yeah, do it. Put put me in the movie." I, as long as I don't have to, f do I have to physically? <laughs> Do I have to? No, yeah. put, do it! Yeah. Do it! Do it! I don't even want to be in the next one. Do it. Just let me, just she let me seemed, have this cocaine and I mean, peace. obviously I can't speak for her, but she seemed all about, like, everything that was Leia and her connections to Star Wars. And it seemed like she, you know, did the full circle on what uh, Leonard Nimoy did with accepting that he was that character. Yeah. I am so, And, I'm and not she totally, and yeah, she, fun. yeah. She totally seemed, you know, immersed in, in being Leia for her whole life. So she was all about any any way that she could be connected with that universe. So I think, you know, ethically, from her perspective, you know, allegedly, she'd be totally cool with having CG lay in the films. Do you do that? Or do you, like, write her out of the movies? Do you just have her, like, quietly disappear? Do you kill her off? Like, how do you continue Leia's story now in Episode 9? Yeah, yeah play, that's Have a her being played question. by Betty White. I don't know. I, I think they should um... ever brain transplanted into another into a robot, <laughs> and then just have someone do an impression of her for the entire remainder of the film. General Organa, what's your what's what should we do against the First Order attack? My whole existence is pain. We don't All need right, to make we'll, her suffer. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll launch we'll launch starfighters, I guess. Like. Fast and Furious sucks, but they finished <laughs> Paul Walker's... They did a great job They did a that. great job of, like, ending his part of the story. And... I was like, can just, I do it before I die? No, just like this. The problem oh, is... Oh, got it, though! <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? The problem is you can't do that with Star Wars, because Leia is, a, like, a essential cog in, like, in the narrative. You can't just have her not be in the film. Can we also just point out, the Fast and Furious didn't always be like it was now. <laughs> no, it, it, it really it really came together. No. Eventually, somehow, I don't. I still don't really know how it happened. Yeah, they they went from like hoodlums stealing VCRs to <laughs> hauling bank vaults around Rio and ramping off nuclear submarines. <laughs> like I don't know what the fuck happened with that series. They're eventually gonna go in space. Oh like, yeah, uh, it's that's the I, next one. They're I, gonna I, drift I, over the ISS. The first and third movies of that are really good. Like. Tokyo Drift mm. is an excellent it's, movie. Tokyo Drift, man. Tokyo it's a Drift. samurai movie. Yeah, it's a samurai movie. Exactly. Tokyo Drift is not a good movie. It's entertaining. It's no, it's a good movie. It's entertaining. No, you're yeah, wrong. It's, no, it's, it's actually shit. Uh, no, all, it's all, actually. all of them, I, I classify, even though they're many are garbage, I classify all of them as entertaining movies. Yeah. Except for number four. Mm, yeah, four no. is pretty atrocious. Uh, I'm sure we've mentioned it before, but we were... Uh, we were playing. Who's this guy? Benedine. He's the guy we're rescuing. Okay. Uh, we were playing. Uh, uh, we went fall. to see episode four of, uh, of the 
We uh, saw Fast, Fast and the Furious 4. And, and the audio cut out and yeah, during the big climactic chase scene at yeah. the end of the movie. Oh my god! <laughs> and he, Jesus! I thought what? he was still firing, too. Oh, I was, was like, that's that? dedication. What? Oh, 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 did oh. you crash it? Oh man, you crashed it. That's a sweet. Yeah, I'll boot her up again. This cause 2 has stopped working. Yeah. You're not allowed to do that during the video game. Um, what? It was uh, Spider-Man, wasn't it? We went to Spider-Man and the audio fucked up. Wasn't it? Because it was like Re- just, just... No, it was the 3... They forgot to turn the 3D on. Oh, it was yeah, the 3D, that was so it. they yeah, restarted... Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what They forgot to turn the 3D on. I remember that. Yeah. Remember you, you turn on Andrew, the 3D. Andrew, Andrew leaned over to me, out. and he was like, hey, yeah, there's no 3D. I took my glasses, and I'm like, huh. Well, I just saw because Andrew was sitting next to me, and he was just like... There's no 3D in this. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I was like, hmm, I guess there's not. Maybe it's just in this, like... Because yes. the beginning of the movie, it starts with, like, a home movie that... That Peter makes. Mm. So I'm like, maybe there's no 3D in this bit or something. I don't no. know. So we just saw like a really and like a, first. And then like a minute, yeah. minute later, they're like, oh uh, yeah, actually we fucked up and <laughs> forgot to turn the 3D on, so we're gonna restart the movie. And I'm like, okay, and they're like, I totally called it. Uh, I mean, he totally did. But I saw. I can't remember even what James Bond movie it was. It came out in 2012. Moonraker. Uh, you're thinking? Uh, wait, 2012? Yeah. Oh, was, that would be Skyfall then. Skyfall. I saw that in theaters in Corner Brook. Mm-hmm. Well, there's your problem. Oh, well, man, man. Uh, yeah, so their theater heating system doing, didn't work. Oh, it was it freezing? It was freezing cold. I loved it because I always get, like, boiling warm in, like, groups of people. Yeah. And so, watched the entire movie. Great time. Movie was almost uh, over. They came in. They're like, hey, we realize the heat's not working. Um, so here's free tickets for another <laughs> movie. You can stay around for the end of this one. Bunch of the people just left, and I was like, "How do you leave <laughs> at this point?" <laughs> All right. Oh, the, the, the. I was not working. Well, fuck this. <laughs> I All thought right. I was just cold. <laughs> yeah, uh, anyway. but like, I was there, and me and my cousin had watched the entire movie. It was great. We got the free tickets. Other people who left had dropped the tickets, like the free things. So we ended up going to like ten like, other movies while we were still. Th- we were in Corner Book, of course. They oh were. yeah. <laughs> For those who. Aren't from Newfoundland. <laughs> Corner Brook is one of the two other cities. Also, here. yeah, that said, you, it could have been Casino Royale as well, or even Quantum of Solace. It was not Quantum of Solace because it's Co- Corner Brook, and they get movies like years after the rest of the world. <laughs> I I saw a I, I Taken like movie Mountain there as well. At some point. A Taken movie? Yeah, I don't. Wow, know. there's a, like one in three chance that that was any good. <laughs> it's like a time <laughs> capsule. That it was that, not. Corner Brook is like a time capsule. One. <laughs> You want to see what was relevant five years ago? Go to Corner Brook. Yeah, exactly, yeah. God, I, mean, I forgot about all this stuff. But uh, speaking of James Bond, uh, Craig is coming back to do another one. That's been confirmed now. Oh, is it? Yeah, uh, and much to our predictions, and uh, I guess even just like wish lists, Tom Hardy was apparently lined up to sign on. Oh, really? Uh, as the, new, the next Bond. But then Craig was like, no, I'm doing another one. <laughs> so... Yeah. I'll take that money. Doing another bond. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe Hardy will... I'll just uh, be in another it. movie where I don't speak. Yeah. So, hopefully Hardy, uh, after this movie, they, they he comes back and be like, can I do it now? He is... And like, yeah. That'd be awesome. I'll never, I'll never stop saying that he's one of the best actors around. Yeah. I think Edger Selva would also do a good job. I, I, I think Tom Hardy would also do... Like, Tom Hardy's, like, the yeah. best actor. They're both yeah, I think choices. Hardy's more of a Bond-like character yeah. Yeah. personality, maybe, than Edger Selva. I don't they, know. They, they should be in a Bond movie too. together. Yeah. He could be like he could be Hardy's Felix. Tom Hardy would be a good break from the kind of Bond that Daniel Craig is, because yeah. Daniel Craig's a pretty hard Bond, and yeah. Idris Elba would be a very hard Bond. Oh my yeah. god! The yes. uh, so like maybe it'd be a good like um, a good change of pace, but I prefer a harder Bond over like Pierce Brosnan's yeah, like yeah, aristocrat true Bond. Mm. Yeah, true enough. Hi, Adam. <laughs> Just tissues over there and over there by Roy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> distant, uh, distant sneeze, nose squirting. I um, can't even read it. So, uh, there was this sh- a show called The Gifted that's apparently yeah an X Men comic. Do you know anything about this, Adam? Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, it's based on an X Men comic and it turned it into a TV show and it starts very soon. It starts October second, I think. But it's apparently part of the MCU. What is it? So, Ow. I don't know, I was X-Men? like, how, 
Yeah, and it, it, it's not like it's not like Wolverine and Jean Grey and stuff. It's oh, like, of course, it's probably a bunch of like random X Men. Like, yeah, it's probably random X Men. Or was it the girl who shoots fireworks? Jamie, oh, Jamie Chung Jubilee. is it? Yeah, I hope it's porcu- I hope for Porcupine Guy from X Three. <laughs> who the? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is going on? With the cars are just flipping over and road. He's, I'm, I'm, oh, he's, he's grappling. grappling. Yeah. Oh, that you yeah, right. can't see anything. But Rory, what's selling me on this show? At least the first episode, which I've heard is actually not bad. Mm. It says, uh, the, what, from what I read, it said. Immediately interesting premise and uh, an ensemble cast that works well together. Like, okay, whatever. Jesus. Holy <laughs> fuck. Amy Acker's in it. Oh, really? Yeah, she's like one of the... Amy uh, Acker's excellent. She's amazing. And Jamie Chung is in But isn't, isn't she already in the MCU as Coulson's girlfriend? No. Yes. Yes. She is indeed. She is. What? In Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., she's, Col- she's the cellist. Yeah. The cellist? Yeah. yeah. Amy Acker... Is she... Yeah, yeah, he's right. I cannot recall that. That's old. I guarantee he's correct. It was first season uh, of Agents of Shield, and goodbye. <laughs> Jesus, over the edge too. Oh, this is why Just Cause is excellent. It is a fun. Just time. Cause Three sucks ass, and I want to get into that later. Okay. I like it, but I don't like it as much as this one. So who does she play in uh, Audrey Nathan? Apparently, well, that's not who she plays in this show. Uh, okay, that's gonna bother me forever. Yeah, it will bother me now too. Also, what bothers me is. One of the main characters of the show played uh, J- uh, Janet Van Dyne from Ant Man. Yeah, that's right. And she's not Janet Van Dyne. What? The show. Wait, what? So, yeah. So, so what is this show? Yo, <laughs> no, screw that. It's just a repurposing. Maybe I'm not sold on it anymore. No, I'm. You're me and Aaron are very picky about continuity <laughs> for the viewers who don't know. She played. So she played. She played the Janet Van Dyne, not Hope yeah. Van Dyne. Yeah, right. this one, but. Okay, so, well, one, like, mother. she was only, like, she was only in the movie for, like, a minute, and yeah. it was a, she was masked the whole time, so... That one I'm fine with, but I'm Amy Acker. <laughs> yeah, well, Rory, you're not fine with anything. So, she, her know. voice was in the movie. Are they running how out of actors? Ep- how many episodes was she in? And absolutely, they are running out of actors. Guys, give us a All right, who are we going to have? It's like, who, who do we have for this show? It's like, well, the only actors who are left who are not already signed on to one of these universes... Are uh, Amy Acker, who's currently already signed on to us, and the guy who plays Turtle from Entourage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, better do uh, Amy Acker then, but put that Turtle kid on standby. <laughs> Jerry Ferraro's ready to go. Any? <laughs> How many episodes was she in? Just one. Just one. Yeah. I like. I think you know. I hate that a lot, but I think that's still passable for yeah. both of them mm. because. I mean, yes, they're actors. Are, I, okay, Roy's totally against this. <laughs> yeah. They were obscure characters in these shows anyway. They didn't know they'd be considered and better actors. How many point. people on this planet look like other people anyway? What? what? Like, there's, there could be <laughs> there's somebody else on this planet that looks like Amy Acker, I'm sure of it. All right. So why? that's like saying, you know, why can't you cast the same actor to play those two characters? If they look similar. Um, by the way, Aaron, when this yeah. when these parachutes come up, one mm. of them was called the Firestorm Parachute and had a scorpion on it, and the other's called the Scorpion Parachute your head and had a Firestorm sure? on it. So make sure you double check that to see if there's a continuity error there. But anyways, go on. But, oh, man. <laughs> Bullseye man. assault rifle. I mean, I'm probably not going to watch this at all, so. <laughs> Mikado. Um, I don't know. It's Chef, Chef all, yeah. <laughs> can you skip this? Oh, yeah, apparently I can. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think, like... Low budget television gets a kind of a pass because it's shit anyway. If if how Amy low Acker, budget is this MCU product? Well, it's on CTV, so like zero dollars. It's on CTV. Yeah. Jesus. Is that even on <laughs> ABC? <laughs> uh, well, it might be on ABC, but CTV have the rights in Canada. Okay. Um, Interesting. If Amy Acker was oh, I got to mark a waypoint on my map. Well, what am I doing? We already have Janet Van Dyne, the actor that plays J- Janet Van Dyne in Ant Man. If she showed up again in another like Avengers movie or something, or even another Ant Man, then that's like okay, hang on now you're you're, you're kind of yeah screwing around. And I think they've kind of done that with some I uh, see them, like, some actors in Chris Game Evans. of Thrones. That's Chris Evans. Like who Roy in the recent episode uh, or in the recent season of Game of Thrones? That's right. No spoil. Well, very very minor spoilers. Okay. It involves a flashback. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a flashback for the Targaryens. Who yeah. is that? Is the male actor in the that flashback a character from really early in the show? 
Because he looks exactly yes. the same. Okay, so I'm not sure. I, I like, know what you're talking yeah. about. It's the same actor. Is it? Yes. Okay, well that... It makes sense because it's a Targaryen lineage and... They yeah. all look the same. Yeah, they're all probably going to look the same. And inbred. But to use the same actor, that, that strikes the same chord as like... Don't Oops. have Amy Acker being the MCU twice. You well, that I mean? bike took a turn for the worse. Good thing yeah. you probably got off that. Look at this guy. Oh, okay. As you were oh. shooting that guy, a dude in the background was like... Moving like a chess piece. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, whatever. Check out The Gifted. It's apparently okay. I'm, I'm going to watch it. It's probably feces, though. Star Trek Discovery starts soon. Uh, watch it. Thanks Hopefully it doesn't suck. Discovery? Yeah. I also heard that that sucks, but watch it anyway. What, what are you doing there? with these fucking boys? I don't know what happened there. Stop blowing them off. Oh my I didn't God. blow it up. I just <laughs> rode through the grass, and then it exploded. You fell off the bike, and through no effort on Rico's part, did he try to save himself from grinding the shit out of his face across a field of flowers, uh, and then a tree in the distance exploded. He's just channeling his inner <clears throat> wick. John, yeah. John, oh man. Great John Wick uh, 3. Jesus. John Wick That's 3. That's all my reading right there. <laughs> so John Wick has a release date? It's 2018, isn't it? No, it's 2019. Oh. Yeah, it's 2019. That's I don't right. longer care. 2009. <laughs> I'm glad you hurt your fucking elbow. Did that hurt, bitch? <laughs> really, did it hurt? No. I wish it did. There was unintended contact, so I made an owl noise. There was no real pain. I do that all the time. Yeah. No point. Uh, yeah, I also I do know. that a lot. Why, why do unfeeling people feel the need to phone? voice pain? <laughs> there was a you, phone you in that them. old st Yeah, you called ruin. them. Yeah, but it was an old ruin Wait, with a phone in, too, in, the, in the stone. What the fuck kind of sense does that make? Oh, ass, man. Anyway, I don't know. You guys, you guys are excited for Chapter 3? Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty. I want, a little all, bit. All I want Chapter 3 to be, all I want this movie to be, is a non-stop hour and 45 minute gunfight from the top of New York to the bottom as John Wick has to get from Central Park essentially was where the like it takes place immediately after the end of the, of the second film and he has to get from Central Park to JFK airport or something to get out of New York and he literally has to fight off like a thousand dudes on the way there you want why because oh, he's spoilers because he's uh, he's spoilers? been registered ex I don't, I don't even know anymore <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't think anybody cares about John Wick spoilers. I mean, if you he, if you want to watch it, you've seen it already. Yeah, it's he's been uh, he's been named uh, he's been excommunicated by the by the world by the by the international by the organization. He pissed off he pissed off a bunch of assassins, mm -hmm. and so now he's and killed a bunch. But of how awesome would that be? Just like a heat style run and gun fight through all of New York City. Yeah. That would be awesome movie. It'd be cool if like that then somehow became an apocalypse movie, like. Of that, of that vein, where... Like, he just kills everyone? The, well, yeah, like, the assassins, like, they just destroy Manhattan in, like, a gunfight to kill John Wick. That'd be awesome, Where man. it's just, like, it just... It's just war-torn, like, Matrix times a billion. And, like, the civilians all just have to, like, leave, because you're just gonna get shot in the crossfire of people trying to kill John Wick. I mean, like, if GTA... Think of all the people John Wick world. are gonna flick... Yeah, it'd be your GTA real world. Now, that'd be... That'd be... That's a cool... That's a cool game mode you just came up with there, right up Rockstar's alley. If, the, it, in a full lobby, full lobby only, 30 people, it gives the game every every week, it gives one random player in one random session a million dollars. If they can kill everyone else. Nope, they did just get a million dollars. And then everybody else in that session has 20 minutes to kill this guy. And if they kill him, then the money starts to drop down. It goes like, I don't know, maybe 50,000 increments. And after the 20 minutes, that person gets to keep all the money that they've made. And everybody else gets to keep the money that they've made from killing him. Okay. That, so it'd be like... And every time you kill him, you get 50,000? Yeah, it'd be like John Wick mode. But he's off, like, I would have it so he can be, like, off the radar mm. or something like... Oh yeah, yeah there's no to... radar finding him. Yeah, because it would be like it, it would choose like that one like level six player who's 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 playing the game for the first time and a bunch <laughs> yeah. of annihilators and savages and and, and stuff and oppressors yeah. and ruiners just come at him. He's like, I don't know what to do. That'd be cool. That'd be a good like uh, oh, that free roll lobby. Shit, game. there. No, he's still fine. Though. Don't worry about it. Pretty powerful shotguns. Go. John Wick's uh, adversary mode. There you go, Rockstar. Did your job for you. We know well, they listen they... to you. Yeah. 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 They love this podcast. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
we got a death this week, and it was a it was a long, uh, long coming. This one was it a was it a pro? It was okay, yeah. not a person. Cassini crashed into Saturn uh, yesterday, ending its 13 year mission. I started in 1997. Cassini is a good name. Yeah, like they got it from somewhere else. Which they did, uh, because NASA's not original. Hmm. Anyway, I took a bunch of pictures of Saturn and stuff, and it's got some cool pictures of like, uh, right, like, like the final pictures it took before it ended up shooting into the, into the thing. Though it's kind of disappointing to me. I was hoping to get some like, sub layer pictures of Saturn. You know, like why, why not have to go to the gas? Yeah. Uh, but the camera broke well before then. I guess because of like the electrostatic radiation, some sort of maybe pressures. I don't know. Maybe dust particles. Did you say to me that like? Yeah, space. Did you say to me that, like, partway through the live stream on Twitch, the government came up and blocked it in case they were, like, at some point during that whole... Uh... Oh, no, no, I was just saying that, like, why can't they live stream? Because, like, I was reading a thing, somebody was saying, like, why can't why can't this be, li like, a live actual video feed from Cassini? And they were saying, like, well, there's an 83-minute delay or whatever. I was like, well, why can't we just watch it with an 83-minute delay? Yeah. And, and I don't know. I I'm not entirely sure that it had the... I don't think it had the technology. The capability, yeah, like 97. Like, what was the best camera back then that they stuck on this fucking yeah. probe? I don't it probably know, wasn't one capable of them used of fucking it. PlayStation 2, didn't they? Uh, I yeah, forget, I forget the, if one, yeah. of the, one, of the, one of the probes was launched with PlayStation 2, so it's basically it's, it's... Yeah, like the processing power of a PS2. Oh, right, the terrorists. No, we literally PS2 used the PlayStation. For computers for a while. Yeah. I yeah. heard something about that, but I assumed it was the... Why is that? But anyway, so that's cool. I forgot the uh, guy with the rocket launcher has literally pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, try in God mode. Uh, and I guess Juno's going to be in and soon. That was only like an 18-month 18, 18 mission, so that'll probably be sometime next year that that ends. Which is, he's been uh, working on this probe for like 13 years. <laughs> and he's just... Yeah, it's got to be emotional. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's, I know it's only a bunch of metal and shit, but... The, yeah. the amount of money spent on researching this thing, building a rocket to put it in... Shooting the rocket into space and having it actually go to where you wanted it to, and then having it take pictures and gather data for more than a decade, and then just shoot it into a gas giant. Like, fuck it, we're done with this. So, I don't know why they didn't just leave it in space. I guess they wanted to get the data from, like, below the surface. Yeah. Something. Well, they didn't want it to collide with with Saturn's rings or something because I forget what they had. I, I don't know the reason, but they're like, "Yeah, this absolutely cannot collide with Saturn's rings. That'd be a really bad idea." Why? Uh, I mean, I don't think it would have any like lasting effects, but they might they might like disrupt part of it that might you know cause some of it to yeah. aesthetically like look garbage for a while. And you're fucked Wait, up no. the rings. Oh. What do you do that for? I, I feel like if it ended up in Saturn's rings, it would have just been destroyed pretty quick anyway, yeah. too, because its rings are just a bunch of small, yeah. well, not small, massive space debris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I can see that being a headline, like, NASA fucks up Saturn's rings. Like, if you oh, can see Saturn for, for the sake. next, like, four months or something, <laughs> yeah. you'll notice the ring has a gap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did, too. Fuckers. That's my favorite ring! <laughs> they messed up my tattoo! <laughs> Put new pictures of like Saturn with like a fucked up sideways. Regular people get weird about how money is spent, so they think money is spent on something that they're they're messing things up. Yeah, You'd I mean, be surprised what th what things will set a regular person off. Well, I think yeah. it was you said that, like you know people are like why, why are we person? wasting so much money <laughs> going to Mars? You know that money could be better spent making jobs. Like, well, we are making jobs. We're making jobs yeah. going to Mars. Yeah. What the fuck do you want from us? And guess what? The jobs, the jobs that people want, they're gone. Computers do those now. Like, that's... Yeah, but that's somebody thing. Gotta, if, you're, Rory, if you're sitting at home wondering what's happening in all the jobs, it's... But Rory, nothing's happening to Rory, them. We've found more efficient ways to do Somebody gotta them. turn the computers on. All <laughs> yeah. Right? Yep. There you go. That's why Rory's doing what he does. Problem solved, yeah. America. Yeah, this game crashed. Who? This game crashed, like, ten minutes ago. Who turned the game back on? Was Rory it, did. Was it a human? Yeah. Damn right. <laughs> ne next time... Rory wants to play a game on the podcast, you should get him to use his program. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, controller and mouse, apparently we're getting, or keyboard and mouse, like, you know, for computer games, uh, apparently we're getting that for Xbox. Oh, I love this. I love the implication that console gamers can successfully use a keyboard and mouse. 
Now there was a there was a debate about this. There was a debate about this. Man, I love the fact that PC gamers continue and always will be fucking massive cocksuckers. I forgot the technicians the whole not supposed thing. to die. Wow, Jesus Christ, Rose! I was like, you know, they're pull PC gamer over there, count the frames, fail the missions. <laughs> Yeah, well, we can be dicks because we have better games. Yeah, apparently you can't fucking play them. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a debate about this because uh, people were people. Hang on, let's wait. He's, he's politely blowing his nose off screen. People were concerned that people using keyboard and mouse on console would have an unfair advantage. Damn right they will. <laughs> <laughs> it won't even be a close match in any game. No, yeah, oh, for real. I know console gamers can use keyboard and mouse. I also know that any console gamer using, like, a... Can you imagine, like, people playing Overwatch on consoles? Oh, my God. A whole bunch but of guys using controllers yeah. are about to get massacred. But anything this is, that involves aiming. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, exactly. But this is this has been an ongoing debate in PC gaming as well for a while. Like, even, like, in GTA, like, in a lot of games, GTA, for example, when you're playing with a controller or a keyboard and mouse, it shows up next to your name what you're using. Yeah. So it's like, okay, this guy's gonna fucking destroy me because he got a keyboard and mouse and I'm only using a controller. But that's kind of relevant in a game like that because it has driving and fuck driving with a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> but it, I guess it is going to open up a kind of an unfair barrier for console gaming because a vast majority of players are going to be using controllers regardless. Uh, yes. So it's like, oh, this guy's hacking. It's like, no, he's using the keyboard and mouse. Yeah, he's just, yeah, using tools that are better. can be way more better. precise with a keyboard and mouse. So. We actually might have had a dude do something to our game. We were playing GTA on the PlayStation last night. Because me and Aaron were driving around after everybody else left uh, the game. Because uh, we were playing with Thomas and, and friend of the podcast, Sandy. And uh, we were just driving around shooting the You're shit, and all of a sudden... Of I know, I've been here twice. <laughs> I've been here twice in a month, so it's over. I'm not a friend anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've lost my affiliation. <laughs> well, you're kind of part of the group now. You've been in a lot of episodes. Um, number four. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Getting it at double digits. Uh, you know, we were driving around, doing, you know, just talking and stuff and all of a sudden my car for no reason exploded oh yeah yeah and then i was forced to pay for it and i don't know why <laughs> yeah i didn't drive over anything and nobody blew me up well what happened was we, we were driving in the the drainage thing went through a little bit of water which you can drive through in any car and it never Does anything. causes it to break but as soon as we were driving out of the water adam dove out of the car and then the car exploded <laughs> And I didn't dive out. I was literally just driving. All of a sudden, my character shot out of the car <laughs> dead. Yeah, because yeah, I guess it was lag or something. Because it was weird for me. It looked like, it looked like to me like you jumped out and then like, you know, booby trapped your own car and it just exploded. That's what it looked like to me. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we good camera angle. I can only assume. <laughs> I can only assume like we drove over a proximity mine or something that was in the water. Yeah, but I had to pay for it. If yeah. I drove over a yeah, proximity yeah. mine. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Maybe the proximity to mine somehow didn't blow up your car, and then you crashed, it crashed into a wall. And blew Unless, up. see, I don't know if, I don't know if mines despawn if you leave the session. You do, they do. They do? Sure, yeah. I, I don't know. And, and sometimes, like, and that could just be a case of the game being weird, because sometimes, sometimes, and it happens a lot with the fucking jet bike, sometimes mm. you go in water, and it breaks. And sometimes the game is like, your bike is broken. Here's a new one for free. Or... Yeah, but usually when the car goes in the water, it just stops working as opposed to violently explodes. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, somebody might have blown this up, but it might have not been deemed their fault. Because sometimes mm. the game will do that. Yeah, but there was nobody on the map near us. I looked on the yeah, map. Yeah, but I'm saying you could have driven over a mine, blown up the car, and it wasn't that guy's oh, fault. Oh, okay. Because I've blown up my car sometimes, like... Because the, the Tampa has mines that it can drop. And I've dropped them underneath me like you've done a couple of times. And blown myself up. And then I don't have to pay for the car. Is that an airship? Which normally yep. I do. I it will looks, say this. Is that like a peanut? What is that? Oh, it's it's like a blimp. It's like a... It's like... Is, is it like... Blimp? Oh, is the... What's that? Planters. Is the planters blimp a peanut shape? <laughs> Get out of here. I will say this, the keyboard mouse support is a good thing because, like, typing from yes, a controller if you're typing messages is, it's like, a, 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 a huge hassle. So it is actually yeah. cool that this is happening. I just think it's hilarious. Does uh, PS4 already have keyboard mouse support? Uh, yeah, no. I believe so. Does it? Yeah, I believe it does. so. Yeah, it does. Because I know, yeah. 
I wasn't 100 percent on it. I haven't looked it up, but I'm pretty sure it does. One yeah, of the yeah. Twitch streamers I watch can't play with a controller because she injured her wrist doing something. Mm. So yeah, she has to use a keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I'm probably flicking the bean a bit too much. And uh, oh dear, uh, <laughs> what is it? What's underneath that? What is that? What, is that's a, what it's carrying. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's carrying one? something. Okay. Um, it does look like it's a, a club. Peanut. It's it a nightclub in the oh, air. Oh right. Okay. It really I does look that. like a peanut. <laughs> With like a, with I can think tail. of oh, uh, far easier places to put that. Yeah, easier, oh. but not cooler. You tell yeah. the air. Just, just cause all about the style points. Look, man. this is this is uh, the United Arab Emirates in. The music years. is bumping as you get close yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah like, those are anti-air. I bet. Yeah, like just cause is like they were given a, a blank character oh, sheet with like forty points to assign, and they're like. Style. Yeah, they put it all <laughs> into style. The um. But yeah, no, I think it has keyboard and mouse board. Yes, she plays PS4 and yeah. can't use a controller. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, I guess you're using keyboard and mouse board. So speaking. Okay. That was, uh, that the was Switch is getting games. <laughs> that was a pause. You said speaking and wow. then didn't speak. I was gonna come up with a segue, but I don't the have Switch is getting skills. games. Yeah, it's getting a uh, Doom for for reasons. Oh, okay. Cool. Which I think is a sacrilege, by the way, that the, the Switch is getting doomed. Well, to the, be fair, the, the PC game is coming to the Switch. To be fair, the first ever uh, console port of a Doom game was, was a Nintendo console. Was a Nintendo yeah. console. That's and an it was dog point. shit. Yeah, it really and was. It was bad. It was impressive. I will say this. It was impressive at the time yeah. because you would never ever saw graphics like that, especially 3D render graphics like that uh, at the time for a console. And the reason that Nintendo could do it is because they uh, they had a 3D accelerator shift in their new um, in their new cartridges that came out that gra that drastically improved the performance of the of the uh, Nintendo uh, or Super Nintendo system uh, over the over the Sega Genesis, which was relying on hardware add-ons that really didn't do what they wanted it to do. So it was actually quite impressive. That's why uh, Star Fox uh, was such an impressive game because it also uses 3D accelerator chip. Now in as time has passed, and I've gone back and played the the uh, the SNES. Uh, I was playing Doom, it the other day. Um, you get about five frames a second, <laughs> uh, and the music is like. It's, really um, it's not. It's not <laughs> great, if I'm honest. So here we go. Here we go. I would like a drink. It's going to be lacking a few things, primarily because the PS4 version of Doom uh, has risen to a whopping 76 gigs. Which is more than I think Ooh. that the Switch comes <laughs> the with. The Switch itself and only has 32 gigs oh, 32. of internal memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, no. god. But, but, uh, Doom, and I'm not sure about Wolfenstein. Oh. God oh. damn it! It's a cool Gosh. game. This cool game. Try again, whoever made this. Um, try, well, who made this? Avalanche? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that wouldn't you. Um, but but uh, now, nowadays they're made by um, Square. Uh, yeah, just might still be Avalanche, actually. I, I was thinking of something else. It's something distributed else, by Square. Something else changed developers at some point. I don't give a fuck. A lot of stuff changed developers. But there's something I was thinking about the other day. Oh, man. But Doom on console runs at 1080 at 60. It's not upscale. It's natural 20. Oh, okay. Uh, 1080 well, at 60. Slow, slow that down a little bit. It runs at 60, and mm -hmm. in some sections that's at 1080. It's, it, it's downscale in some areas? It, it'll downscale in some areas, but but to accommodate the 60 frames. So the frame got, rate's got, most important. The frame rate is the most... Which is true in a shooter. It's The frame rate is more important. Right. I it got, will I got, a, I got a solid 60 when I was playing it on the... On the uh, Xbox. Yeah, what it, he's it saying is, 60, is you're not yeah. getting a solid 1080, which I wasn't no. aware of. Uh, well, and on the Xbox, I want to say it does not run at 1080. Uh, I don't dollar. think... I would doubt it, but again, I don't really... Again, I, I read an article that said... Uh, at least during that video, that Doom was 1080 and 60 on both platforms. I do not think that's accurate. So not, it's, it's, not when it came out. I didn't because think Bethesda you... has never once lied before. So for I mean, it looked like it. I'm not saying that it is that it is. I'm saying it looked like that. But yeah. anyway, so for the Switch, it'll be a, a powered down graphically, what like yeah. wise. But hopefully, they'll still be able to stick the frame rate. And I mean, any game you port to the Switch, you're making money because you you make it portable. Yeah. And there's been so many games that I've played and been like, I could play this all the time if I could just take this with me. Right, yeah, yeah, that's so true. It would be cool to play Doom on the go, and but you need a freaking... 
SD you, card shoved up the thing's but trumpet. It's also to get like to play. that is the Switch is a really unideal way to play a shooter. Yes. It doesn't have great shooter controls. Like, I, I have not yet held one, because every time I've gone to a store that has a demo unit, they sold the demo unit. <laughs> what, what console? The Switch. The Switch. Oh, that yeah. is a really, in my opinion, not ideal way to play a shooter. You can just, like, hold a book, and then that's a good idea of what it's like to play like, it. As with a lot of things, I'm not going to object to it coming to this new console, because like, it doesn't do anything to me. No. But, but like... Heck, yeah. It's also... It's just a bizarre... Like, out of weird. all of it's the weird. games that yeah. could be ported to to this console, I would not have guessed Doom and Wolfenstein as one of them. Yeah, that, really, they, though? They just seem like very un-Nintendo games, you know? Like, mm. in Nintendo's current model, they really don't seem to, to gel. Because, I mean, Doom... Both of those games are extraordinarily violent. Oh, okay, can't wait so, to see the amiibos of that. So we've got, we've got a... <laughs> the tech, Doom Marine. Oh, we got a tech analysis here. Now, uh, the... Oh, God. The the Doom does run at, from, according to Bethesda, 1080 at 60 on both platforms. Xbox, PS4. However... Not consistently. However, PS4 folds 1080p almost all of the time, but, it, but it drops small amounts of frames and will dip below 60. It Contra. drops frames too? Mm. So, PS4 will stay at 1080 most of the time, but drops frames. Yeah. Xbone says most of the time is well below 1080. Yeah, that's what I but thought. But it has yeah. uh, good anti-aliasing and upscaling, uh, and drops way more frames below than 60... Uh, Blow 60 than PS4. This is sweet. Those are my favorite 1080p at 60 games. Now, the games that drop frames and downgrade the resolution part way through. When we recorded that video, I don't recall it ever dipping below 60. Neither do I. I saw that video. But, I, again, I don't know. And you were playing I, the Xbox I didn't play the version. Whole game. That was sad. the Xbox version, yeah. Y'all should have talked to me. And, you know, it was on this TV as well. And I guess I edited it as well. There is a bit of doubt. There is a bit of, Well, like, we would have, but you were out of province at the time, Roy. No, but I mean, you could have... Like, Aaron could have been like, Hey, can I get your Doom thing on well, here? Yeah. Fucking, oh, it, yeah. I mean, you know, fair enough. PC. I'm sure it's going to look better on PC anyway. Oh, the problem yeah. with the capture card is there is a little bit of a, a loss anyway, so it's sure. hard to... Yeah, yeah. It's hard to judge the footage of that specific video, whether or not it looks like shit. Because it might look like shit in the recording anyway. But on this TV, from this distance anyway, it looked like it was a relative high, like 900 to 1080, and a consistent 60. There might have been a few occasions where it lost yeah, a frame. Yeah, it looked good. But, that video looked good. So, I guess in bigger areas, it, it dips. And now, that it's also uh, worth noting that if a game can't hold a solid frame rate, in that it, it goes from like 60 to 20 frames or 30 frames... Even 30, because a lot of games run at 30 anyway. Yeah. If a game goes from 60 to 30, it's very noticeable, especially yep. if it does it just... constantly. Mm -hmm. If a game goes from 60 to 50, it's not as noticeable, especially True. for like core gaming. Though I think it's going to be more noticeable in things like shooters than it is. Yeah, in, well, yeah, especially like, if you're playing in, Skyrim or something. Yeah, if you're if yeah. you're used to that dynamic, and once and it's not just like PCMR. It's once you get used to seeing something like the smoothness of it. Like, going from a game that plays at 30 frames a second to 60 frames a second, it's an upgrade. And then vice versa, going from 60 to 30. Oh, like, this if I'm playing a game on PC and then... Man, and what then a great all... sign for this <laughs> The m -cube. Whatever that is. It's the mile high Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. But if I'm playing a game on PC and then we, we all hop on GTA on PS4, it's like... It's sickening to play the game. Because, like, that doesn't even hold a solid 30. That's, no. like, between 15 and 20 most of the time, I would say. Which is awful. So going from 60 to 20 frames a second is is bad. Yeah. I, I find any game with frame rate issues, whenever you have to do something that's frantic, is when it's most frustrating. Yeah. I, I, as my main experience is with like sports games and like simulation games, with those, when the frame rate drops, it's the most painful yeah. thing in the world. Because it goes from quick responses and everything like that to trying to make a plan for what's going to happen yeah based on what you don't see yet <laughs> yeah and, and it's it's that it's that the variation that fucks you up too it's not like if you're getting 20 frames a second consistently you can at least try to predict certain things mm. but if it's going it's from like going changing, if it's going yeah. from like 10 to 40 to 60 to 20 it's like i don't know what the hell's going on anymore yeah mm -hmm. exactly. like it's just bad so i'm still talking about frames so let's talk about some more stuff that nintendo came out and said 
Uh, a couple other games were announced. They showed some footage from uh, Mario Odyssey. Mario has nipples, and the internet has been losing its literal shit. Mario over that. has nipples. Uh, yeah, because he was on the beach. And Mario on suit. Drop? No. Mario nipples. Um, and uh, they have some really interesting. There's a new uh, Square RPG coming out that I don't. That looks. A, <laughs> they said it's an RPG for real Pe RPGers. People are so upset I don't know what about that this. means, but I, I doubt Square's re going in for a really in-depth story, although they could be. It's for the 3DS. It looks all right. Uh, why are people they upset about this? Sun and Moon. Oh, they're not. Why they're, are, they're, not, they're, they're not upset. They're just like, oh my god, Mario has yeah. nipples. Oh. Like, I assume that he did. Also, for the record, they're not upset, but people get upset about everything. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. well see, what, what happened is they get to add a new page to the Mario lore wiki, nipples confirmed. I love the collision in this game. You just like walk into someone and they go flying. Oh, here we go. It's a great comparison. Look at that. Uh, if it Watch ever this person. Loads. Whoop. Later. Link doesn't have nipples. Mario does have nipples. So, in Link, um, well, I guess in Hyrule, breastfeeding doesn't exist. Yeah, so it's called Octopath <laughs> It's got Traveler. micro skin, skin tone nips. And I, I, in the game, you get to play as different characters. Like, there's a barbarian looking character and a knight and like this... I don't. I haven't, you know, looked super into what this uh, what this game is about. It looks fairly interesting, uh, all things considered. What game is this? Uh, the new Square uh, Enix game coming out for the 3DS. It looks oh, uh, Octopath. Oh, okay, it's something else. Cool. Uh, and there's a couple of. They showed some Pokemon Sun and uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon stuff, which honestly, like Ultra, like Sun and Moon was just Ultra. fucking awful. So I can't imagine. This there's a Square anymore. RPG, like JRPG game, that's. The, all the promotional stuff for it was like pixel art, and it was long, almost like, yeah. like Hyper Light Drifter a little bit, uh, you know, except maybe a little bit more platformer. And I was like, that actually looks kind of interesting. I kind of like that. Probably Octo Dead. Looked up the game. Octopad. It's 3D. Oh, is it? It's oh, all okay. 3D, no pixel art. I'm like, wh who the? Why? Are okay, you, it wasn't why do they do this? Because Octo Dead has is, is pixel no, art. No, it's not o Octo Dead. Octopath, sorry. Oh. Octo Dead is a whole other Octo game. Octo Dead is a which is a great anyway, game. Anyway, so there's a, the last thing that they announced. I don't know if it was exactly at the Nintendo Direct conference or if it was a couple of days before. I think it was a couple of days before. Guess what's coming back in the production? That's right. The Daisius Every everybody's oh. favorite fucking Nintendo product, the Nintendo NES Classic, is coming back into production. For somehow, some reason, they're bringing this thing. It's probably because it was really popular. Why does that strike an Here's over you, why Rory? that's a fucking dumb thing to say, Rory. It's not perfect. It was a <laughs> stupid. Uh, it was really popular, but it Nintendo was. sold out. To sync with yeah, that and they couldn't make out. enough of them. It was hard to get one. I don't know if you if you know, but it's like, <laughs> what is that, Rory? Strangely enough, and then they discontinued the fucking thing because it was an active competitor to their own product. That you was didn't get out. one. No, I didn't get one. And so it's so not like an active man. competitor to the Nintendo You're going to have a chance Switch. to get one now, though. They got oh. them coming out again. Yeah, in 2018. Oh, they're sold but out. here's the thing. You're coming out with the SNES Classic. They have three consoles out. They have Four. one console out, and then two of these plug-and-play things, and they're having enough trouble getting to the Switches and stock. How the fuck can they manage to keep the, both the SNES Classic and the NES Classic in stock when they couldn't even keep the NES Classic in stock? They came out with a product that was insanely popular, and they couldn't keep it in stock for Christmas! And I now it's not get a hold again. of the cons. Like, six fucking of these things came <laughs> in for fucking Newfoundland for all of January, and they were bought up immediately. You have to pay $150! Yeah, that's Newfoundland's cost. Call your congressman. You gotta There's call your, your congressman. Intro. Tell him to ship more, ship more uh, SNES classics. What the fuck are they thinking? They're like, oh yeah, we're. Why do you Nintendo care? Yeah, but it's so fucking stupid because like Nintendo's like, yeah, we're aware that the that scalpers are a big problem with these products. Like, hey, Rory. Well, what's your plan to fix this fucking issue with the scalpers? And they're like, don't give money to scalpers. Oh, thanks for that plan. Hey, Rory. Patton. I feel like playing uh, a bit of Mario or something. Is there any way we can do that on PC? No problem, <laughs> man. No problem. Oh uh, my man. god! I Are you insinuating that, that that fucking emulators exist? Oh my god! How many Which thousands of dollars is that gonna cost? That's Rory? gonna cost you zero dollars. Oh Eric. my it's god! It's gonna take a couple minutes. Jesus Christ! It's almost like you're not giving me any new fucking information. The uh, yeah, guys, guys. <laughs> Which Mario you want? We got them all, my man. I didn't even <laughs> want the fucking thing. I wanted it as a gift for my fucking friend. Okay, how Sounds about like this? Sounds like you weren't a very good how, friend and how, got your friend nothing. I <laughs> didn't get her anything after. Let's get an Android box and put the emulators on it. <laughs> and you're good. 
<laughs> and then like cover it in a plastic case that looks like an. We get, we, we, let's use my Raspberry Pi. There you go. I, I, was, I, 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 I was I was in the process of programming a Raspberry Pi just to do this for myself. Oh, how cool are Raspberry Pis, right? Yeah. Didn't David Shout out. Raven work on that. Hmm? So yeah, if you uh if you want a new one, if you want one of these things that are coming out, you can get Again? get yourself one. Mm-hmm. The uh, if you want two, I know you got one last time. You can get yourself another one. Uh, <laughs> Or not, because Nintendo will make fucking three of them and be like, <laughs> ha ha, here's part of our business plan. It really was Here, horrendously here's, distributed. Rory, here's the Nintendo business plan. Yep. This is a very popular product. Yeah, Old there's a founder. lot of people want to get mm-hmm. want to have it. We'll not make enough of them. Well, how yeah. that works? Like, that'll create buzz for the product. More people want to buy it. It's like, but people already want to buy it. This is already an insanely popular yep. thing. It's like, yes, and people will want to buy it more. And then, when the hype is at its highest... We'll discontinue it so nobody can have it. Shout out to David Braben. Well, well, how the fuck does that make you money? It doesn't. <laughs> because we're a bunch of fucking ass-sucking idiots over here at Nintendo. Now hurry up and give Mario his fucking nips. Adam, yeah. how about we talk about something positive? Do you like Archer? Like David Braben. Archer Season 8. Oh, now, I didn't I, like that one either, so we can try it. When I first Braben saw this, I thought it said Arrow Park. Season 8. And I was like, mean, why Arrow? is Arrow's not on Season 8? And why is Adam talking about it? I don't think he watches Arrow. <laughs> Do you watch Arrow, Adam? No, he oh, okay. <laughs> no, Arrow's the spin-off show of Archer. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, it's the other, it's the, <laughs> it's the companion series. <laughs> I fucking hate you. All right, what do you, what do you think of uh, Archer Nintendo. season eight, Adam? It was not great. It was oh, not great. Fair enough. Yeah, I was so, hoping for a happiness. Oh, yeah. so this is why you a asked happiness. me the other day. Have they ever? Adam sent me a message the other day. Oh, well, he sent it to the group, but he asked me. He said, "Is there ever been a good season eight of anything?" And we had a conversation then, but I was wondering why he was asking me in the first place, and this is why. Yeah, so Archer Season Eight is called Dreamland, and it takes place in nineteen, like late nineteen forties, L.A. Cool era, Rory? and it's Nowhere. about a uh, Archer you is a, a tour, private eye. A tour of the island. Island. It's a coma induced dream, and it's not a bad season, uh, but it's definitely the weakest of all of the Archer seasons so far. I very rarely found myself laughing. Oh dear! During this, which is for a comedy show, is kind of a big crime. Yes, I don't know. I don't know if it I ever laughed at Archer. It wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. It wasn't because Archer is normally really good, and it just really wasn't up to stuff. Man, perfectly crystal clear waters were flying over here. Not a not a fucking wave. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was not. It was not a great. Yeah, where's all the sewage? The storyline itself was pretty good, but the jokes just fell. I want that sewage flat. immersion. Like by. they really did fall flat. <laughs> And, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> and a lot Sully, of, no. And a lot of the uh, a lot of the characters uh, that we got, I know they're kind of like dream versions of the care of the cast. But do they uh, all die? What? Do they all die? No. Why not? Do they act like? <laughs> Why not? Well, they're in a dream. They can they, get away. I don't know. They, I don't know. It just it just felt more like. Um, they can get away with it. They didn't feel true. Uh, there's well, something about it. They did the the characterization of this felt a little bit. Week. It was in a well, dream, though. If it was in a dream, it should have all been stilted towards the main person who's dreaming. So. Yeah, but they didn't. They, that was never brought up. Did they like, go to Inception route? No, oh. it's just a oh, dream. It's just a coma induced dream. Oh, that's stupid. But at no point, at no point, do they ever make reference to the fact that this is a dream and things are different. It's just like, oh, we need an excuse to have Archer take place in the 1940s. Here it is. Well, when did it take place anyway? Like season Current one times. Archer. When does it take place? Nobody knows. Right in. So why specify Because the Cold War is still going, but everyone has cell phones. Yeah. Yeah, it's an alternate reality. Yeah, but this specifically like takes place right after World War II, because Archer in this is a private eye who used to be part of the, I think, the the Airborne, I think they said. He was part of the Normandy invasions. Oh, wow. Is there a Normandy episode? No. Oh, Although they do flashback. I was like, there better be flashbacks. That's a sweet car that's, I guess, supposed to be a Lancer. Yeah. Um... Wow. How about Rick and Morty instead? Better? <sighs> yeah. So Rick and Morty Season 3 has been coming out uh, since July. Uh, and Even though they had that... Jesus. April even though they had Fools. that... Yeah, that April Fool's episode. episode. It was the premiere of the season, and they showed it again in July, and then they've been showing all the episodes. It's where really you, good. Where this do you is, see this? This is a really, really good... Where uh, do you see this show? YouTube comes out the, like so they premiere Sunday they come out if you look up Rick and Morty episode whatever on YouTube yeah, you will find a copy I, of it. I, I somehow got a link to Rick and Morty on YouTube and I was like okay cool I'll save this but I went in through their videos and there was like two episodes on it I was like oh well, I... no no these are like these are like illegal views oh, okay, well, it's, you it's currently a, can't oh, okay. watch Rick and Morty 
for like legally in Canada. Yeah, oh. it, they do I'll the assume. same thing like South Park, where their website does have every episode. So is that why Dan? But it's Harmon? only available in their country. Yeah, yeah. So fuck that. Is that why Dan Harmon's being uh, scummy about watching his D and D campaign or whatever? So I don't think it's Dan Harmon personally is probably uh, it's responsible probably Amazon because Amazon well, has I mean, before. Can I? Can are there shows I can watch on YouTube, Rory? Are the YouTube Red Show? Legally? YouTube Red Show? Are there shows? any legal shows I can watch Legally? on YouTube? I don't know, man. <laughs> well, what about Red? Netflix, then? Netflix? Yeah. There are shows you can watch legally on Netflix. How many of them are Dan Harmon shows? Is Community on there? Uh, yeah. Well, making a liar out of me, Dan. Fuck me. The- <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... <Yeah. laughs> anyway, so the latest episode of Rick and Morty uh, was called the Rick Lantis... The R- Rick Lantis mix-up? Yeah. And the whole episode was pr- uh, promoted as it was going to be a pretty box standard uh, Rick and Morty like adventure. Ep- adventure episode where they what go the to Atlantis. And then, like, all the promos and stuff before, it's like they, they animated, like, promos of them going to Atlantis to having a pretty standard adventure. So I was kind of excited for it because of the new Rick and Morty, but I wasn't going to be blown away. And then the episode fakes us out, and the whole episode is about this place called the Citadel of Morty's. Of uh, the Citadel of Rick, sorry. Yeah. Which is an interdimensional. Um, Planet. Si- little space station yeah. that's comprised of nothing but hundreds of thousands of Ricks and Mortys from across the multiverse from different dimensions that come here and congregate. And it's a whole brilliantly written episode. Seriously, it's one of the best ever episodes of any television show I've ever watched ever, including Game of Thrones, uh, including... Well, to be fair, you haven't watched a lot of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I have watched a lot of the good episodes that people have told me to watch one, one out of context. Yeah, that's it. That's how the, that's the best way to experience Game oh, of Thrones. Oh, man. Watching episode one and then watching The Red Wedding. <laughs> anyway, so... First this episode, episode I saw was The Red Wedding. <laughs> so this whole, uh, this whole episode is a, is a brilliant social commentary about our place in, uh, in society and how we, fo- and, and, and our views on that and our own, ver- and our own, um, uh, you know, uh, mi- misconceptions and uh, about our place in society and learning to love each other and and like cr- critiques about you know self hate versus self love and just it's it, and at the same time kind of parroting what Rick and Morty is about anyway and parroting um, Training Day, Stand by Me, uh, Man, uh, Mentoring Candidate, and uh, what was the Rest end? Peace. Almost Willy Wonka in, in a. Oh, uh, you did. Yeah. yeah, and it was. Brilliant! The whole episode is just spectacularly written, and at the end, there's a twist uh, ending that comes out of nowhere, but it makes total sense, and it completely backs up the... it can forge the plot of the third season of the show, and it's absolutely amazing. Like, seriously, this is one of the best episodes of any TV show ever. It is so good. Can you someone have explain to, to me it. why this show has such a fucking cold following? Like, it's, it's a good. cartoon. I, yeah, but it's good. I, but I, it's like I, a satirical I, cartoon. Oh, like, it, it, we it, were it, just it, talking about Archer. Yeah, like, but what, like, why, why it's does the same that, way? Uh, but why, why? Archer is absolutely not the same way. Yeah, but why? What do you, you mean? Go, well, like everywhere well, it was you when go, it started like, for sure. Everywhere you go, like, oh my god, the new episode of Rick and Morty. It did this thing, and it's got oh no spoilers, please, man, no spoilers. Like, I grew up in an era where cartoons, nothing happened in the half an hour other than killed a half an hour. And yeah, that was the end of it. And your complaint is that cartoons have gotten better? Yeah. No, it's not that it's gotten better. Is that why the why is there such a massive following? Because it's a good cartoon? show. A better distribution of shows is part of the reason. Except it's not better uh, distribution because you can't watch it anywhere illegally. Yeah, well, better illegal distribution of shows. <laughs> yeah, but also it's a good show. It's just a good show. Mm. It's a smart, intelligent show, well drawn. But when has hell. that ever made you want to watch a show? At? All the time. You know, I haven't watched Game of Thrones. He's watched the good episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. bringing up the fact that the I don't want to sit down and watch, like, spend... I don't watch a lot of TV, but, you know, except I cartoons, do... Apparently. Except for cartoons, I watch cartoons. Why the fuck t- does that matter? I'm just... I asked you, why does it have a cold Oh, firing? Adam doesn't watch Game of Thrones. I wasn't He's automatically a shit person. I can probably explain No, his... Aaron's, Aaron's confused about why it's a cult following. Again, I wasn't shitting and out. He's I'm saying, saying why does a cartoon, he, something that it, was like... You know, you go watch your cartoons and kill some time. When yeah. I was growing up, and now it's like everybody's like, "Oh my god!" Well, they crawled out of the ghetto because for a long time, cartoons were part of the. Childhood they were in the ghetto. ghetto. <laughs> uh, oh my god, Rory! It's an actual term. That I they know. Use. I know. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I, I can't make jokes on this podcast. I, I might eventually say something <laughs> here to try and help, but uh, the main thing is, well, cartoons changed from being a hundred percent child 
focused and oriented to a broader audience, and absolutely it being perfectly socially yeah, acceptable so. for yeah. adult oriented yeah. characters. Yeah, I agree hundred so percent. Right. So I'm Rick and Morty takes full advantage of being an adult focused cartoon. Yeah. In that it has lots of mature context, all sorts of things that are way too gruesome for children to watch. So that gets adults just sort of enjoying it because it's childish enjoyment for us because of the disgusting uh. yes. But then the benefit is it's written and treated like a regular show so that there's lots of, well, like continued plot elements and references and clever writing right. that you would get from a real human show. Yeah. It just happens to be oh, a real cartoon. Human. Yeah. And it's a, uh, and it, you know, like as Thomas said, there's actually really good stuff. continuity. Yeah. Like extraordinarily like, really good continuity. And like the entire thing about it, like the creators of it are, I guess, very involved with creators of other cartoons. Yeah, take off for it. Both like <laughs> consultant wise and like yeah. just like being friends with. Uh, so they are always throwing like not just references, but like clever things that work together. Like a great show Gravity Falls that was on Disney, there's like because of one bit of proof involving portal technology in both worlds existing, the worlds are connected. Yeah. Right? Well, and there's a great scene in, in Gravity Falls where a portal opens up and a bunch of office supplies get sucked through it. And then in an episode of Rick and Morty, those same office... Like, a bunch of portals open up, yeah. and in one of them, out comes the office supplies. Yeah. Oh, man, the Rick and Morty cinematic universe. And I think a lot of people... Like, Adam... One of the things... Adam watches probably a lot more animated shows than live action shows. Yes. Uh, at least nowadays especially. Also, and the, the, the time helps because I find it much easier to sit down and watch a 20 minute show. I was show. just about to say, it, I think, and I think on. you're not the only one. And I think that's one of the reasons Aaron White has there's the a, following There's a bit of does. irony though because they'll People sit down and watch like nine 20 minute episodes instead of just one 40 minute While episode. true, it's a lot easier like in between doing things to like watch. I guess. And I just it, get, I get more disconnected. I can't watch, I can't watch cartoons. See, here's whatever. the thing, Aaron. Neither you or I have things like a lunch break. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, but yeah, it, uh, like Adam actually probably has a, like a formal, at least to a certain extent, lunch break. I you gotta, you gotta have something. And to Thomas watch definitely you does. Facts about elephants or something. Whereas, like our days, like if I if we do something at nine a.m. versus doing it at nine p.m., literally doesn't matter. Probably as long as it gets done mm. at a certain time. Contract work. <laughs> but not everyone is like that. So that that plays into like the the time period thing. I think a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fair enough. I I can't. I don't know. I just uh, cartoons don't really appeal to me for some reason. Yeah, this like, really very, is very, a good episode, few. though. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen episodes of Rick and Morty, but it's like, it's a casual like. I'm not invested in this at all. I just have nothing else to do. So cartoons. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if I'm if I'm gonna watch a show and be committed to watching the show and knowing all the lore and the characters, I'd like it to be. You know, something like Game of Thrones or even like Better Call Saul or some show like that that's yeah. long format and has a really well. I mean, I'm not saying that, that 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 this doesn't have a well thought out plot either. It's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just the 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 medium itself that it just doesn't mm. sell. I'm not so long. Yep. Yeah. But each their own. Exactly. And I mean, the thing about all of it, this is all art in different forms. Yeah. Everyone's allowed to or find, the find art differently appealing. And it's weird, like. The, the the thing that Andrew shared with us earlier, like, and it's cartoons have an appeal to me. Weird looking helicopter, Jesus oh, man, Christ! And it, and the Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. He's a good guy. Uh, but like the the Harmon Quest thing that uh, Dan Harmon's doing that Andrew shared in the group earlier. It's week. a Dan Harmon's Pathfinder. Uh, like yeah, and it's like a D and D style game, Pathfinder. But all the bits in something like Critical Role where. It's kind of like use your imagination to think of what happened. Somebody animates these sections, like cartoon, and kind of in the style of Rick and Morty, kind of in, I guess, there's a, I don't know what cartoon it would look exactly like. It's very flat. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, and it has, like, cool animated sections, so you don't really need to use your imagination. It's kind of just like a cartoon then. That, for some reason, I like that. I'm not sure I've watched the full thing of it, but in clips, cartoons are interesting. Not in, like, full-on, here's the whole thing. I don't know. Well, my opinion of Aaron is just uh, decreasing. It dropped tremendously, right? We're, we're opposite, high. apparently, because you don't like Game of Thrones, and I don't like I didn't cartoons. say I didn't like Game of Thrones. Yeah. I think it's a great show. I just don't watch it. What was like, everyone's opinions on Lost? Like I, I like Lost. Oh, Lost? Yeah. Oh, I love J.J. Like, Abrams, yeah. first of all. Yeah, good show. His television shows. Mm -hmm. they, uh, I even like the ending. 
didn't watch it because I couldn't be bothered. Really? Yeah. Lost is an investment. Lost. That that show uh, me and Arya watched through the entire course of her pregnancy, mm -hmm. and it was That's really one of her favorite it, shows, isn't it? It well, she never finished it until <laughs> then, and she got so disappointed by I the final season. <laughs> and I was so, like, I expected it. To so be where does your disappointment then come from? We should also explain Arya is your wife. Yeah. Suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know she's my wife. Okay, well, the audience doesn't, so... <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> what about Destiny Guy? And Sub Guy? Yeah. Destiny 2 really sucks. Yeah. Again. Part 2. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like... Uh, be, so, something being predictable, to me, doesn't make it not good. Because it, it being predictable either means, yeah, they, they revealed too much leading up to that point... Or this is the logical answer to something. Like, you don't need to be like, it was actually this. And it's like, alright, listen, you just ruined everything. The, the problem is the, the, the problem often isn't that it's being too predictable. The problem is it's cliche. Is, I'm not saying that Lost is cliché. I'm saying that in a lot of cases where it's predictable, it's because it's also clichéd. And that's the problem that's been done uh, yeah. before. But a, a show that is predictable, often t predictable, is oftentimes, it, the reason it is predictable is because they've done a really good job foreshadowing and setting up what's going on mm -hmm. so the twist what happens makes sense and even though it's not a surprise that doesn't matter I'm, I'm agreeing with you yeah uh, because you, you've you've been carefully the writing has carefully led you to the conclusion that this is going to happen and then it happens you're like oh okay I'm satisfied with yeah. that and that's why I like Game of Thrones because it's a show that does all those things it's like here's the foreshadowing here's the build up but it's also oh. maybe not so much in in and those are like recent paper. season, <laughs> recent season for recent two seasons, but then they'll just random like a character will die, and you'll be like, oh, okay, well, what happens now? They did all this foreshadowing, <laughs> and now we're in a scenario where it's like, what happens? What happens to all the pieces now that you've removed one, and that and then it kind of changes everything on its head. It's not always about like, here's a twist you didn't see coming. It's like, well, there's this character's dead now, so deal with the fallout. I always thought that was cool about it, because it was a show that didn't really give a fuck about killing his cast off. Yeah. But I guess that'll probably do it, because we've been going for a while. Uh, uh I yeah. wanted to say, up. uh, well, we didn't talk about, uh... Yeah, it's okay. I I'm kind of glad about... we didn't talk about I, I think we, <laughs> no, 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 we I, did a damn fine job. I, did, I wanted to say, I wanted to talk about, uh, Just Cause 3, because we're playing Just Cause 2. Oh, oh yeah, okay. you Just mentioned... Cause, Just Cause 3 was one of the games that were free-to-play for PlayStation back in August. Uh, mm -hmm. It was one of the PC but. PlayStation Plus games, so I downloaded it because I'm like, hey, I've heard, you know, I've never really played a Jordan Just Cause game it. before. Yeah. Jordan played it a bunch, and he said it was good. Yeah, Jordan and I both played it. Yeah. Um, and I said, well, Just Cause the series is normally has gotten, you know, it's pretty well. Received. It's got multiplayer mode on PC, so we'll uh, we'll uh, go ahead and I'll go ahead and play to see what it's like. That game is fucking dog shit. Just Cause. I don't think Just Cause suits Adam. No, it's not the fact. It's not the fact that it's. Uh, it's it's a very arcadey game. That's not my complaint. Although there are some gameplay breaking things in that that kind of take the gameplay like crack it over. It's neat. like it like right in the beginning of the game you get the access to drop sticky bombs like proc like remote detonated bombs on things and that pretty much breaks the game because you really don't need any weapons because what you do in the game to beat every vehicle is you zip line to the vehicle, plant a bomb on it, zip away, detonate, blow it up, and that's it. So it is. Yeah, uh, sounds great. The problem, yeah. the problem with the game is, I want this game to be really cartoony. I want to fly around in helicopters and tanks and I stuff in order to blow stuff up because the whole game is supposed to have really good explosions and, and whatnot. And uh, you can't because all the vehicles in the game are fragile as fuck. And so anytime I get into a tank, I move four feet, I get Holy hit with fuck. one thing, and I get blown up. Al the vehicles Pacino. in this game seem a lot more, uh, more. Uh, this game sturdy. is better. This game is a better Just it, Cause game. It looks it. And another problem with the game is the story makes oh, absolutely no sense everyone. because Rico <laughs> will go into a, uh, into an area, and like a, as the player, and I'll and there's no penalty whatsoever to killing oh. civilians. So I will level a town, and then I will go like I'll I'll start walking to the town after I've leveled it and liberated it. Why does shit go from zero to exploding in this game? <laughs> and uh, everyone will be like, "Oh my God, Rico the Savior!" Like, didn't I just blow up your house? It's like, well, yeah, but you liberated us from Doesn't the look like from Mexico the, to me government who uh who didn't blow up my house jesus oh, christ okay. damage my needs a rework in this anyway so it's not great if i'm honest and the story is pretty 
Somebody didn't watch Mythbusters. On, on, oh, the on story's Instagram. amazing. It's Just Cause. It's got Rico. Yeah. It's got Rico. No, the story in this, Just Cause is a giant B movie, let's be real. The, yeah, uh, but I mean, even, like, the, like, the story in this, yeah, I don't know what it's like, but the story in this, in the third game, is the bare bones, we gotta defeat the bad, evil that dictator. that, uh, the tennis guy? It's not great. What? Uh, Roger Federer? There you go. Yeah, that's him. That's Roger Federer. Looks yeah. like him. Uh... You oh, know no. what? Juan Pablo Montoya. That's you, what you I know what like. cheesy game they should bring back? Battlefield Bad Company. Driver. Uh, and a for, and oh, F1 yeah. driver. Former F1 driver. I was when when I started watching him, he was an F1 driver. Okay. Roy's an early two thousands F1 guy. Yeah, I, I am actually. Back in the V ten era. The um. Mm. Anyway, that's probably that's all I wanted to say. Is uh, and that entire game can be oh. summarized by. Go to the area, liberate the outposts, go to the next area. To be sure, that's what all the Just Cause games are. Yeah, it's every single one. All right, well, then that's... I find that... I'm sure it was better in this because it wasn't overplayed when this originally came out, but when... I definitely think it's better than this, It's overplayed now. It's just... Well, I think also, too, with how every game gets scaled bigger and bigger doesn't necessarily do well for a game that has a shallow concept. Also, yeah. to be real, yeah. like, Just Cause Memphis... really is one of those games, like, look at this game. This game doesn't need a sequel. Like, we don't need, we're fine with Just Just Cause 2, or at least they I need am. need a sequel, but they wanted just, more they, money. Just they Cause just 1 was fine, expansions. aside from the graphics. But yeah. They really, this is one of those games where they could they didn't really need to release number 3, they could have just released expansions. And, yeah, exactly. And added new islands and stuff. This game looks plenty good. Like, yeah. I know it's old now, but Family like... Miles sucks ass, though. What? The car handling sucks. Oh, the car handling is garbage. Yeah, it's not great. Though. It's, it's and it's game. especially garbage. I will say uh, one thing: controllers are way better for is racing games. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like indisputable. All right. Hey. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's We're bike done. guy from the podcast. That's bike guy. That was him. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Let's do a wave him. around the room. Uh, <laughs> well, I got fifty percent of the room. Uh, the podcast <laughs> will be right. back next week. I'll be on it if I don't have papers to mark. Sweet. Uh, and He's uh a professional man. Oh yeah. uh, whatever that guy hey fuck him miss him. The well let's hope my students think so. The uh <laughs> um probably not though. Are you Hopefully sure you watch your this. podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Guess who I'm sending this to. Put all the answers to the exam At, in, in the podcast. Yeah, but in like <laughs> in like binary format, so they gotta do action bill work. Like <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they call Morse code. Yeah, it's so binary. <laughs> You got me there. Good job, everybody. Anyway, yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye.